We all know that you share your Netflix account with your friends and family, you slight bugger. But what's Netflix's take on it? Are they cool with you sharing your Netflix password? Or are you going to find yourself in some legal hot water? G'day, I'm Vantage for Smart DNS Proxy and today we'll see when it's okay to share your Netflix password and when it's not. So according to the recent survey by readers with more than 4,000 adult participants, 12% of the adults use streaming services such as Netflix have done so for at least one service by using credentials from someone outside of their household at some point, including philanderers. That share is higher among viewers aging between 18 to 24. 21% of those young adult streamers have borrowed someone else's password, meaning if sites like Netflix start cracking down on password sharing, they could make as much as, say, $391 million a year. There isn't much information out there in the public. However, when asked about these issues, Netflix executives gave these replies. Netflix's CEO, Reed Hastings, clarified, We like people sharing Netflix whether they're two people on a couch or ten people on a couch. That's a positive thing, not a negative thing. He later added to that the company sees account sharing as a first step in its broader user acquisition strategy. He also said, as kids move on in their life, they're likely to have control of their life, and as they have income, we see them subscribe separately. CFO of Netflix said the following at Goldman Sachs conference last September. We could crack down on it, but you wouldn't suddenly turn all those folks to paid users. The CEO didn't comment on non-family members sharing an account. But as long as you're sharing an account with a family member living with you, you're good to go. So what's allowed? Sharing with your immediate household member? Yep. Using your parents' account whilst you're at university? No worries there. Sharing it with your roommate who split your expenses with? It's all good to go. But sharing it with your extended family and strangers? That's a no-no. Sharing it with your friends or colleagues? Don't. Overall, Netflix's rules are worded so permissively that it's hard to imagine the company object to account sharing. But of course, they might face pressure from the investors to change course if new signups start slowing down substantially. And even if the company eventually decides to crack down on account sharing, they're not likely to go after users in court, but instead will consider technical solutions that will prevent or at least make it more difficult to share accounts, like using geolocation blocking or restrictions on concurring streaming sessions, etc. However, don't misuse the freedom, only share your Netflix account with someone you really trust. Preferably someone you live with, remember if things go south, your partner can easily commandeer your Netflix account and change the password and the linked email, meaning you won't be able to watch your Netflix while you're actively paying for it. Almost sounds like a start of a bad joke. So that's pretty much it. If companies do start cracking down on Netflix, what would you do? Would you still stick with them or move on to better things? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm Vamsi from Smart DNS Proxy and thanks for watching. Check out our other videos right here. Like really good videos. See ya.